Uh, first and foremost, just excited to be here. Uh, fire, fired up, man. It seems like it's taken forever to get here, but now we're here and uh, ready to go. I think the guys have done an awesome job uh, of attacking uh, all spring, uh, being competitive uh, all summer, and uh, now it's time for us to put that attack and compete together and go play some football. Uh, Coach Jerry, with the Daily News, um, you obviously lost a big piece on the uh, D-line and the break transfer. Sure. Yeah, and I think you hear it often in, in sports, right? Next man mentality, and you can only worry about the guys that you have, you know. And I think the guys that we have have, I mean, it kind of like juiced them up a little bit, you know. Now there's an opportunity. You see a little bit of crack uh, for me to get some playing time, or me to become the next guy. And, um, I think they've really thrived uh, since since that departure, and uh, I'm looking forward to those guys in the production that they're going to bring up front. Sure. Yeah. I think uh, first and foremost is just the opportunity to play. You know, what I mean, uh, hopefully we get back. You know, getting back to like a, a, a normal surrounding and football atmosphere. So I think every game, every fan is going to be extremely hungry. When you add that into uh, the players that we have and their excitement and their love for football, I think you go into every game just like, you know, on, on 10 ready to play. I mean, each game is, has its own challenges, uh, but that's why we play the game. You know, you play the game for those moments, and these kids live for those moments, and I think they'll be excited. Yeah. Can you repeat the question again? Uh, so I guess answer. what are your, just your thoughts on the schedule this year? What excites you most about the opportunity? Uh, I just, you know, I take it one game at a time. I've been that way. That's my mentality. Since I've been in high school, you take it one game at a time. And you just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. You only get four to five years playing college football, so you got to enjoy every game. And also, you know, it being more of a, you know, normal year without, you know, COVID and things, it could be a real football atmosphere. You know, a lot of fans there yelling, cheering us on. And like I said, just one game at a time. Yeah, you know, just picking off of uh, uh, Juwan, what he was saying about uh, – you know, just playing together, you know, having the opportunity. Uh, you know, we, we know we got new addition to the team. Uh, we're very excited for the uh, upcoming season. Uh, I feel like we had a lot to prove, and I feel like we had the guys to do it. that I'm capable of playing a run, uh, resting the passer, uh, and stopping the run. Uh, you know, everything that I do, you know, I just do it for my team. Uh, you know, I just try to do everything uh, in an ordered, fashioning way and uh, just be the best player I can be. Uh, D'Angelo, to kind of go off of that, it sounded like you wanted to put on some weight, uh, get a little bit bigger in the offseason. I guess, what was the offseason like for you? Uh, the offseason was a grind. Uh, you know, I knew I wanted to be at a weight that I uh, can c c consistently be at. Uh, you know, just work. Um, I'm, uh, I'm constantly at around that weight at 238, 240. So, you know, just playing around that uh, weight, I feel very comfortable coming in. Uh, Coach, with the, uh, so a lot of talk uh, about the offense, uh, but I know you all probably don't want to stick in the defense either. Yeah. Um, is there anybody going to the camp that we should keep an eye on? Any youngsters you really think can break out this year? Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, the, I think the thing we've done um, the best is we, we've added competition in every room. I think we're a lot deeper uh, as a defense, uh, which I, I think will bode well for our success late in games, you know, being a little bit deeper and having not such a big drop off when guys come into the game. Uh, but, but a guy in particular I'm looking forward to seeing is uh, A.J. Braithwaite back there at, at, uh, at the free safety position. He's a guy that's been in the program for a long time, a uh, guy that's waited his opportunity behind Devin Key, and now he has that opportunity. I think uh, he's going to show up. I think we're going to be excited to see him. He's a, a very cerebral uh, football player, does a great job of studying. But I think that's going to kind of uh, show up for him with every game, with every snap, with every play. But he's, he's a guy I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. Uh, the secret is, you know, sometimes you got to come in early, even if, you know, you don't want to wake up at, say, 6 a.m. to come and we don't have meetings till 8.30. <clears throat> you have to come in early, you know, roll out, stretch, and things like that, and attribute that to, you know, 
the training staff with Russ and Jess and then equipment staff being there so I can get all my stuff together and things like that earlier than expected. And, you know, it's just taking it one day at a time, you know. Sometimes you wake up, you're like, man, <laughs> this is tough. But, you know, there's an ultimate, you know, there's a goal. There's a big race at the end, big goal and things like that. So you just got to just keep going. And, yeah. You guys, uh, this is for all three of you. Um, you know, you guys finished off the spring really strong as a defensive unit in that spring game. Do you feel like that propelled you into the summer at all any more than, uh, you know, what it could have? Uh, I mean, a little bit, but again, I, I think it goes back to like to earlier when we were talking about just just the makeup in, in our DNA. You know, when, when when I first got the job, I called everybody uh, and I told them we got to be ready to attack. And I, and I thought we, we saw a little bit of that. Right. And then going into the summer, it was about us uh, consistently competing. Right. So I think it's like it, it's, it's in our DNA to, to be that. So I don't. I think that was more of the, the, the expectation for the guys. That's what they want. That's why they put the time in. That's why they study. That's why they wake up early to take care of the bodies. That's why they put, put the weight on to come back because they, we, we, we have a culture in place where, where the guys are like, they, they thrive and just love, love football. So any opportunity uh, to perform, uh, I think our guys, like, they, they, they just get up for that. And, uh, and I think we're going to continue to see that.